Shoulder, Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Dust. We are here with Raphael, just outside of jail. We're breaking out. Well, in the last episode, we broke in after some of the inmates took some pot shots at us from a distance. We don't take very kindly to that. No siree. Perhaps we could have been friends with these people, should they have known our thoughts about the NCR. But alas, that did not happen. And so, from here, we plan to continue north, towards the Hidden Valley, to see what awaits us there. And, after that, head further north still. But I think the valley will provide its own problems today. And so with that, let us prepare to dive on in. And we are feeling thirsty. With minor dehydration, we should probably deal with that now. Let's get a drinking. Okay, my friend, what are we going to start with today? Purified water? We'll probably just have the one for now, really, because uh, we don't have a huge amount of water. Hmm, we'll need to keep that in mind. Um, as for our food, well, that mute fruit might do us for both. A little bit of hydration, a little bit of food. Nice, okay. We do have a fair bit of sleep deprivation going on at the moment, but I want to wait until we can potentially pick up some more water before we do anything about that. And so, let's get ourselves back on track. Quite literally trying to get onto the tracks. So I think if we just kind of mosey on up this way here, that should work out for us. No need for us to worry about fences. We'll just go around. Yeah. You know what, let's check this out. See if there's anything good waiting for us inside. Looks pretty ill-used. Although there are some explosives, maybe. Yes, yes there are. Homemade pipe bomb. Sure. We will make use of that, thank you. Um, base, just baseball. Okay, right. If we have baseball bats, we'll take them for repair. Anything two-handed, we will make use of. Anything in the oven? Aye, a Brahmin steak. Always worth looking in an old-timey post-apocalyptic oven. You never know what you're going to find. Hmm. Delicious. Wonderful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad we saw those. Uh, pretty sure we've got some dynamite here. Like dynamite mines. Yep. Let's, uh, let's not. Yeah. I guess that's something to think about, is that this area was once run by the Powder Gangers, and... Well, there are a lot of them in the town. Well, the town. It's not really a town. It's a... It's a something. We got ourselves a dog out the front. Um... Right. Well... Do we need to fight here? We do have some throwing spears. Okay. We'll probably try and use those, preferably. Hey, buddy. Oh! Oh, I see. Well done. Good job. Good job. Just the two of you, yeah? Okay, well, tell you what. We're gonna... Okay, there was definitely an explosion somewhere. We're gonna mind our own business. You can keep your uh, remains. And I'm gonna try and keep our eye out for mines. Okay. I don't think that was at us. Nope. But it's a decent firearm, and it sounds like it might be coming from over the hill here. Well, when we hear shots, we must go. Alright, who the hell are you? Let's move on up. See who is fighting who. Looks like we've got folks over that way as well. And I feel like I have a sneeze coming on. Be warned. Hey there! Oh, you're pointing a gun right at me, huh? I'd really prefer it if you didn't. I'm just gonna put it out there. Okay, alright. We're doing this thing, huh? Well, I'm tired. Hey, buddy. Don't you throw that thing. Ow! Ah, there you go. Caravan shotgun did not get through our armor. Thankfully. 
We all made a terrible decision here today. Yep, caravan shotgun. Ball cap of glasses. Nice. Um, okay, what do we want from you? We want that. Do we want the time bomb? Sure. Rad roach meat? You can keep that, friend. But we'll take your dynamite. Yeah. Jumpsuit armor is only light. Okay. There we go. Anyone else around? See me? Oh, we got ourselves a Brahmin that's downed over there. Ah. That's who they were fighting. Looks like it was powder gangers, or... Oh, you also look like a powder ganger. Based on that armor. We'll take the bobby pins, thank you. Um, poison grenades. Good against people, I'm sure. But... Do we want it? Ah, uh, the incendiary will be nicer. And set some abominations on fire with that. Ah. Uh, oh no. I thought that might be, uh... Like a tribal warrior, but no. Okay, it just looks like a bit of a fight between survivors here. Volcanic pistol. We got ourselves a trading hat. Another poison grenade. They seem to like them. I'm glad we didn't let uh, the other bloke throw that grenade. Opportunist outfit. Cool gear and all. We'll check the Brahmin and then we'll check the other bodies. Yeah, just all survivors. Thought we might have seen cannibals or something else the like. Nice glasses. Take your caps. Alright. Anything on you? No, you're rotting. No good for us. Okay. Ah, from behind. Okay. You've been here for a while. What have we got? Physician? Nothing. Okay. We're not so concerned about the gunshots yet, because they don't seem to be directly at us. This uh, does seem to be a popular stretch of highway. Thank you. I will take that bobby pin as well. No doubt we'll need it. Back on track. Let's see what the hell's going on here. You hear those gunshots from a long way away, huh? Who's fighting who? Thought I saw some animals running around. Oh, it's some traders. I see. Well, don't mind us. We're just going to have a quick look here. Wonder glue, whiskey, and a Braxo cleaner. Wonderful trade. Let's be wary that if uh, there are cars up ahead here, that uh, we don't... <coughs> position ourselves in such a way that an explosion might kill us. Night Stalkers. Okay. Ooh. Recognize that. Ow! Son of a bitch! Ooh! Somehow we got that one. I did not think I was going to get that. So they were being attacked by Night Stalkers and then they decided to attack us. Hey there. Don't worry about us. We just killed your friends. You don't want to... You don't want to do this thing. Just stay over there. Yay? Nay? Alright. Okay, let's line this up so that we... If we don't get one, we get the other one. Oh, <laughs> leaning to the side here. And I'm actually stuck. And, uh, throw. Buddy. What did I tell you? Looks like there's some goods in there as well for us. We like that. Okay. Take the stim pack. He definitely had some good stuff. Kind of feel like we might need to check in on our uh, sanity after a little bit here. Some Hydra. How nice. And uh, we'll just see if they have any coyote steaks on them. Death ball sign there? I think so. Alright. Take you. And your spear too. Alright. Let's get these things saved once again. Stash them away. They haven't been worried about our health yet because it hasn't dropped down low. But also because um, we do have that little bit of recovery at the moment, which is nice. Just from our um, headgear. 
We got some nuts, some cram, a nice bottle cap, and some wiggling boxes. Okay, lots of food. Uh, the maze is going to be great for us. I mean, we're going to take all these things because we've got the space for them. Yeah, this was a good supply for us. How are we doing food-wise? All right, we could do with a little bit of a snack. A hundred nutrition. What are we going to get that from? Iguana bits? All right, sure. Pretty radiated. Nothing we can't manage. And uh, while we're here, let's just check in on our lad. See how we're doing in general. Um, we're still... We're very good. We're super sane at the moment. We've killed 600 people. Raphael, my dude. <laughs> Discovered 100 locations, killed 600 people, 400 creatures. So we've already killed over a thousand things in the time that we've been playing this. Which is, um, I feel like that's quite a lot. That's a lot of death. Speaking of death, death claws. We don't want none of them. If we can avoid it. So let's try to. So. Where is the hidden valley, huh? Oh! <laughs> we nearly missed it. I'm glad we checked. So. Let's see. What remains of the Brotherhood? Okay, we got some ghouls in the distance. Spicy. Now the cloud was supposedly used against them here. So there might be some remnants of that cloud. We must be wary. Aha. Oh no, that's not a ghoul, that's a person. Hey there, friend. You're gonna try and throw something at me, aren't you? Oh, you- <laughs> Dude, that was not a good call. Whoop. That was a much better call. A actually rattled us a little bit there. Hey, buddy. Damn, that was not good. Um, all right, here we go. We could just use our melee weapon here, but why do that when we can do this? All right, we'll take that. We won't take that. We will take that. Thank you. You can keep your mutilated torso. Turbo. Okay. Human flesh. Oh, I see. I see. Let's get these spears back. One over this way somewhere, and one over this way. Wherever they are. Damn it, spears. <laughs> Why'd you have to be like this? Why can't we smell you? Oh! We've got mines. I see. Well, we might have actually come across a... a settlement before the Hidden Valley here. And, um, oh, there we go. We got one back. That's good. The other one was definitely off in this direction here. So it could it could have gone past there. Sometimes you just need to stand up on a high rock for a second and have a little bit of a look. That's a little bit too close for my liking. Yeah, I'm going to have to guesstimate that it's gone over here. Let's say hello. Survivor camp? Well, not anymore. Lay on surviving. Let's drop down. Okay. Two beds, two people. Ooh, and we got ourselves another throwing spear. Thank you. Right, what do we got? Read notes. Let's see. Some of the fellows farther north are trying to organize. We're starting to think it's a good idea. Got to pool resources if we're going to survive out here. Sure, you've noticed the decline in travelers. If they're getting wise, so should we. I'm pretty sure that's the same note that we read in the other locations, so I'm guessing they've been distributing them. And i got to stop leaning. Raphael, pepper powder bag. We can do without. Uh, let's just go and make ourselves a throwing spear. Yeah, they got um, explosives all around this camp, so we're going to have to be a little bit wary walking away from it. Uh, salvage that hammer. Make the spear. And we'll save them, thank you. Okay. So, right. No sign of the throwing spear. Oh, already getting rads over here, huh? 
Oh, because this is a big ass rad barrel. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Why, why are you doing that? Morphine on top of you bloody weirdos. They're using it to cook. I mean, it would, it would kind of work. It's a very slow cook, but it's a cook all the same. Right. So, along this road, I think, is what we're looking for. Yep, that is most certainly it. Okay. Yeah, and this is the other side of the prison. Right, we have our bearings. Now we need to make use of them. Well, what have we got ahead of us, Raphael? Uh-huh. Does the cloud still linger, or has it blown away on the Mojave winds? No photography? Okay. Well, I'm sorry, I am recording. And we're feeling uneasy. Oh, hey, there we go. A ghoul. Oh, holy crap. That is a thick... Oh. I was going to say it was a thick-ass cloud, but it, it no longer is a thick-ass cloud. It is, um... Yeah. I'm guessing it's meant to be a thick-ass cloud. I'm not sure. I am not sure. You know what? I feel like this is potentially a good opportunity for us to break out the shish kebab. One might think. Oh, what, what in the hell is going on with... Okay. <clears throat> We're changing through some states at some pretty quick um, rates. Okay, it's an average lock, but hey, we can do that now. Okay. Which way? Oh, straight up. Okay, alright. I'm probably going to want to take some radix before we go in here. Just regular radix, Rikon. There we go. Alright, let's do this thing, yeah? Yeah? Yep, quick one too. I probably do want to check them, just to make sure they don't have any special items or anything like that. Oh, the other one sets the other one on fire. Well, that's good to know. I'm trying to be as, um... Use the lesser amount as possible. I'm going to take that hammer, definitely. Thank you. Yeah, we're using the least amount of stuff as possible. Yeah, this is definitely... Cloud territory. I think we're meant to be seeing the cloud at the moment, but we're not seeing it. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. My bad. Ow. Took some extra rads there. Okay. Quickly search him. Flaming head. Okay. Right, where is our entryway gonna be? We'll get one over here. Okay. Is there any way in now? Yes? Are you kidding me? I really didn't think we were going to be able to get in. Oh, um, well maybe we can get up to here, but not go any deeper. I guess we'll see. Wary of turrets. Oh. You guys cool? I, I, uh, uh, mmm. Hey. Hi. Are A you gate. okay? Bye. Okay. We're just gonna have this out just in case. I know it's kind of intimidating. Hello? What do you need? Nothing. Bye. Okay. These people are cool. I was not expecting that. Hello. What do you need? Yeah, they're chill with Later. us. Huh. 
Well, we might just use a fire for a little bit of warmth. What's up? Nothing. Journal. Don't mind if I look at this? Ah, uh, let's see. This location looks like it might be... Might make a good safe house. Warm, dry, and some sort of crazy natural phenomenon at night that should keep the predators away. I'd love to start getting set up, but there are a few nearby points of interest that I need to gather intel on first. Not sure how long they'll take. Okay. I don't know if that's the kid's journal or someone else's journal. Who knows? We got some old NCR rangers in here. Hey. We'll take this dog tags. Don't mind us. We're just doing what we do. Morphine. Okay. I'm supposing this is locked up tight. Ooh, locked hard. We hear nothing. Yeah. We can do it. We can do it. Oh boy, we can do it. Hell yes. Thank you for not locking this off. Okay. I'm excited, folks. Oh, come on. Oh, maybe not. No, it's it's God damn it. Don't don't tease us like that, Norgrim. <laughs> well, there's something. What do we got? Ste steam gauge assembly. Alright. Well, I guess that's that. I don't I don't want to get stuck in here. But yeah. No oh, damn it. Well, we opened the door for them. I guess that's something. Congratulations. Evening. Yeah, evening to you. Back outside we go then, I guess. Yeah. Anything terrible awaiting us? Seemingly no. Okay. Well, we'll make sure that there aren't any other hidden entrances just by kind of wandering around the area here. Seeing what we got. I feel like this must be a hollowed out rock, right? Yep. Absinthe. Oh boy. We'll, we'll keep that for a rainy day. Yep. Well, that looks like that leads to somewhere. Oh. Another bunker entrance. And more trouble by the looks of things. Okay. Well, we can open this one too. So let's try. There we go. And in we go. Okay. Oh, there's no point in me sneaking. <laughs> I don't even know why I try. Let's actually go throwing spear here, please. Just bit by bit. We're feeling thirsty. Minor dehydration. We could take a nuka. It would help us with our sleep a little bit here. And we can still have water and have it still count for something. Actually, let's have some maize. Yeah. We'll have some proper water later. Okay, our rads are up. Probably want to take a rad away now. Let that start to uh, do some work. Might be in better condition here. Nice bottle of wine. Were you locked down here accidentally? Looks like you cracked through all the crates that were here, so you probably used all the supplies. Buried under the rubble. An easy lock, huh? Yep. Nothing on the intercom. But, sounds like there's still static, which means that there's power. And same again. Bombed. Okay. Now, I guess my question is... Did, did they collapse it? it? Seems like a pretty permanent solution. I mean, the air vents are on the surface, though, and... That's where the cloud was getting in from. So they're probably all irradiated husks in there. Oh. <laughs> 
meeting it again. And hey there, buddy. Pal. Friend. Let's grab the shish kebab out. Yeah, let's do this thing. Oh, just a little early on that strike. Oh, boy. There's your sunrise. Or your sunset. Let's go. Oh. Caught the head right away. Thank you. Alright. Let's just check that little mini map of ours. See what we got going on. Yeah, the two entrances there. Okay. Black Mountain, which we haven't been able to get to because of radiation yet. But honestly, we might be able to do that now because um, we've got Rad X, we've got Rad Away. Yeah, possibly. Let's follow our way along then. Rad's are just as bad here. Let's see what we got. It's damn quiet for one. Oh boy. Yeah, it's pretty consistently bad up here. What do we got? What do we got? Well, no rads here, which is a nice change. Oh, look at that horrible thing. Okay, now, we might be in a spot of trouble here, right? So let's just go in and we're gonna go in hard. Oh wow, this works very well against them. We've gotta keep moving so that these things don't hit us. Oh my god, there's so many of them. They're setting each other on fire. Oh, amazing. Oh my god, 10 rads per second? Holy crap. Okay, yeah, I did not notice that, I'll be honest. Um, take some more radix. Let's go back out to the, the lower la- the lower rads. Yeah, this is heavily irradiated, this site. So we'll try and make our way around the outsides. Uh, we're gonna take some rad away now as well. Oh, free radical? Oh, shh. That sounds like it's good, though. Um, let's see. Free radical. Uh, enhanced effects from right away. Well, I will take that, thank you. We've still got one big one over there. Rads are okay. Yeah, it's inside the freaking crater where it's really bad. Not sure why I want to go in there. And you know what? I, I don't want to. Um... Yeah, let's jump back out to that map. I wouldn't mind making our way up to Black Mountain, but that's... That's something that we can do. Um, can we jump over you? We can. Can we open you? Yes. Sure, we'll leave it open. Okay, well we're not in rads right now, so we can kind of breathe for a second or two. If we can get on top of where the dishes are up here, then we can have a look down into that crater and see if there's actually anything worthwhile. Because there's a strong chance that there's nothing. And we don't want to use our resources and our health and get irradiated for nothing. Hey, got some ghouls. Got, wait, wait, what? Ghouls and people. Okay. Holy crap. Of course. Wow. Are you just trying to hit the ghoul or me? Because it looked like you kind of set the ghoul onto me. Oh god. Yeah, I don't like that. Shoot. That was not an accurate throw. Okay, we got one chance here, Raph. One chance. Let's make this count. One shot, one opportunity. You seized it, buddy. Oh my god. And you got hit. Okay. Oh, we got him. Holy crap, we got him. Oh. Hi, hi there, squad. Let's, uh, do this thing. Dodge and weave, buddy. Serpentine, serpentine. Yeah, you better run. Ugly sons of bitches. Yeah, burn. <laughs> That's how we do it, Raphael. Oh, boy. That was, um, something. God, we've come a long way, huh? Okay, let's check in on these limbs of ours, see how they're doing. We could try and sleep. You know what, I think we're just gonna doctor bag up that for now. We'll carry on until we can find more to drink. 
Jeez, bit of a mess here. We did lose a spear. That's okay. We'll take that one. Grenade rifle. We don't have the grenade rifle anymore, do we? No. I don't think we're actually going to take this one either. Um, just want to check on our gear and see how it's doing. All in all, we're looking fine. So I'm not worried about that. Okay. Protonic axe, thank you. You had a wrench. Right, so... We threw... In this direction. God, I'm not going to spend a long time hunting for it. We can actually make another one. I believe. So, let's look at doing that now instead. Salvage that hammer. Make a spear. And we did actually have some left. Okay, that's good. Counts for something. Nada? Okay. We'll check this little outpost. Ooh. A single suitcase. I kind of need to check it. I need to know. We feel thirsty, and that, that's not water that we want to drink. Turbo? Sure, I'll take it. And some cat eye. Okay, pre-war money. It's useless to us. Alright, we're going to have to get a little close here. That's fine. Let's go around. And, um, oh boy, something else is aware of us now. Wonderful. Yeah, I kind of wanted to just try and jump up here. Uh, we might actually be able to do that, looking at this rock layout. Quite possible. Just need to work our way around. Little by little. There we go. Okay, and we go back. That leads us on up. We'll be able to look down into the centaur pit. Well, visibility isn't going to be great at the moment. We might be able to sleep. It's going to make us thirsty and hungry and everything, but... Hell, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to sleep. Okay, let's do that thing. So, bedroll kit. Time to sleep for an hour. Okay, and we can see a little bit better after that. Um, we'll check in on our stats, so definitely need to do some of that drinking. So we'll have some purified water. We'll have one more, and that's all of our water for now. Okay, nutrition-wise, 170, so... Really, most things are gonna get us up to that point. That's gonna make us a little bit on the thirsty side, but... No, okay, we'll use it now. I'm fine with that. It's only a little bit of thirst. And, um, let's see if we can make anything out in there at all. Nope, it's a big-ass crater. I don't think there's much to it. I'm gonna make that call. And we're gonna try and see if we can sneak up the backside of, uh, Black Mountain here. Hello? Oh, hey, we can hear some ghouls. Well, nice. Check on this poor Brahmin up here. See what it's got going on. Oh, it's just a rotten corpse. Of course it is. Up we go. Hey, yep, we got we got ghouls. Yep, we sure do. So, let's um get our flaming blade out and ready. Very glad that we actually did get our lock pick up a little bit higher. So that we can do things like this. A little further. There we go. Okay, where'd you go, team? Let's do this thing. Yep. Let's move to the side. There we go. Nice. Oh, one more, huh? Got him. Toasty. Akira would be proud. Alright. Ah, we did not need any of that junk. <laughs> I was just an autopilot on that. Okay, alright, I think we can we can take our time here now. Broadcast first floor. Oh sure, we'll have the shish kebab out just in case. Oh, 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 what the hell? Okay. And you hear someone moving. Oh. 
Hi. Freaking NCR. That hurt. That all hurt. Thanks. All right, we'll use the doctor's bag. And uh, let's go ahead and stim. There's a scientist back here. They had the front of it mined. Well, thank you. Yeah, sorry, I don't think they were gonna. The whole mine out the front wasn't a nice move. Why are you so strong? I'll take that. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Well, you seem to be just as strong. Yep, no, I know. I know. It is hopeless. Sorry about it, but it's got to be done. I'll be taking that. Well, what was happening here then? Wasn't expecting to find the NCR. Yet here we are. So, what have we got, Raph? What's on the terminals? Okay, well, we've got a few attempts to get this right. Oh. <laughs> I was going to skip ahead, but uh, there we go. First guess and we got it. Okay, so, let's see. We've got a few logs here. Which I will go ahead and read through. We've been picking up a lot of activity from China's satellite network. The tension's been pretty high around here. Frank's been talking about securing a place in one of those vaults for himself and his family. When he didn't show up to work yesterday, I think we all knew where he went. My god, it's actually happening. We're reading this all across the board of launches happening everywhere. They must have thrown everything they had and it looks like we didn't hold back either. The computer says that we have two minutes until the first missile drops. They can barely type. Mount Childress. From the worst of the blast with this too much radiation. Okay. Wow. I can't believe these old machines still work. This place looks pretty much defensible. The radiation should keep out the majority of the people. Looks like we found a home, at least for now. First things first though, we gotta get these corpses out of here. Poor bastards. Marcus. Alright, Marcus. Well, I guess they did make a home of it. Let's check the other machines. Another one here. Same story. We'll take a guess. See how it goes. Uh, spoils. Alright. Not so right. So, I'll go try and see if I can find any duds or anything like that. I'll be back once we're done with this mess. And there we go. Got them done. So, what have we here? Same logs or different? No research logs. Okay, what have we got? Among those corpses killed in the skirmish, three corpses appear mostly intact. I plan to operate on these as soon as possible. The rest should be dumped off the cliff. I don't want to have to deal with their stink on top of everything else. I've requested a larger research team from Golf. Surely they don't expect me to conduct an autopsy single-handedly. Hopefully they can be over here in the next vertebrate. We don't want these cadavers to rot. Delays, delays, delays. Golf can't send anyone over because of safety concerns. What safety concerns? What do they mean? The pitiful things in the valley? They're underfed, radiation-sick madmen with nothing but sharpened sticks as weapons. Or maybe they meant a pack of ghouls they're always going on about. Whatever. Ghouls don't have rocket launchers and automatic weaponry, last I checked. Damn it all. Thanks to the NCR's failure to supply me with any kind of assistance whatsoever, all three samples have rotted to the point of complete uselessness. All of my preparation was a waste. I don't think they'll ever understand how important my work is here, not only scientifically and medically, but politically as well. Finding a breakthrough now could very well be enough to Claire Royst. 
you'll never believe it. One day, one day after throwing out the cadavers, the weekly vertebrate landed. And, wouldn't you know, out comes a research team. Typical. I'm starting to think that this is intentional. Some follower of the apocalypse asshole back at Camp uh, Adatum put them up to this. They're just trying to sabotage our work so that they can put away Royst for good. Well, I won't have it. Research team is capable, although we still lack appropriate test subjects. Examining craters can only go so far. I guess we could autopsy another centaur for practice. They've still got a few chained up outside. Ah. Finally. The boys have captured a super mutant alive. I can hardly believe it. We'll do it tomorrow morning. No need to rush the preparations. And forget something. I'm excited. Okay. Super mutant autopsy, sir. Huh? Well, good for you. Doing your part, huh? Well, we'll do our part. Take whatever else we can from this place. And then move on. Anything good? Scrap metal. Okay. That's back to the outside. Sure. Uh, and we will head up here. Ooh. We didn't kill you. They just left one of their own out here. It's concerning. And we've got the second floor. So, let's arm up, just in case. Oh, hi there. Sorry, I'm not going to take any chances. And, uh, Mr. Researcher on fire. Yep, sorry about this. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Help! Yeah. That's going to be faster. Alright. Well, what's done is done. There's some flame of fuel. Okay. Oh, autopsy notice. I will take that, Radix, thank you. It's more clean water for us. Ooh, junk blade. I will take that for repairs. Lovely. Oh, and a key. No sign of a key yet. Okay, we'll have to look elsewhere. Sheet music book. It's very interesting. Okay, so let's see. Um notes first of all yes autopsy will begin tomorrow from our research at lucky 38 we have plenty of data covering the biology of most centaurs but we've never actually opened up a super mutant be prepped and ready for operation by 8 a.m tomorrow okay well that's that and uh what else did we pick up oh the weapon of course so, let's see, Thermal Lance, we'll do a little bit of a repair there. Thank you. And, that's that. Nice Brahmin heads. Let's head on outside. Okay, we'll drop off the edge. We'll check out the rest of this facility. Thermal Lance in hand. Let's be ready to do what we need to. Storage, huh? Well. Um. Okay. All right, sure. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, another key. Damn. Oh, uh, that can do some repairing. I don't know if we actually need much in the way of repairing. I'm just also trying to make sure that this place isn't freaking booby trapped. Oh, hard. Okay, that we can deal with. We had it right away. There we go. Hey, nice. And nothing we want. Sure. Hmm. Just looks like a whole heap of everything. Oh, the victory will definitely take. Excellent. Okay. Lots of stuff, but not necessarily anything that we desperately want. Some more flavor fuel. Okay. Well, that's this building cleared. On to the next, then. Ah. Not until we do this. Come on. There we go. We get experience from it, so I guess that's some um, something for us. Oh, hey there. Well, let's go and uh, 
get our sword out. They did not have this place very well defended, did they? Not at all. Nearly dismembered a thousand limbs, huh? Good for us. We'll go ahead and check up here first before we go anywhere else. We're sleep deprived. Got a lot of rads. Don't know if that's going to do anything for us, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate them all. Cool. They're all active. <laughs> right. Sure. So, just this building now. Just making sure there's nothing else behind here. Nope. No siree. Just this one. Research. This uh, is oh, okay, there is someone there. And, and uh, yes, it is. Jumpy, I guess. Hi. Hey! Do you have a key? You very well might have a key. Yeah, sorry this about this. Alright, Thermal Lance. We're gonna make this quick, Raf. Sorry. NCR's in this regards. I'm out of here. Oh, you're alive. God damn. We're, we're, we're alive. We're alive. Don't worry, I do feel bad. Okay. Letter. We're taking it. Anything else of value here? It's not talking to anybody. Okay. Just checking everything else here. Schematics? No. Oh. No, it was just the top of the vice. Looked like schematics to me. We've got two terminals. That we're not going to be able to get into. That's that's okay. But we'll check here. Number of different entries. Alright, what do we got here? It's good to be back at dear old Black Mountain. We've set up camp at the old radio station. Back in the day, our samples were limited. The troops never wanted to linger for long for fear of those super mutants that used to live here. That's no longer an issue. I hope to fully examine the craters within the next week and maybe even a mutant autopsy if I'm lucky. Looks like the radiation returned again when the Lucky 38 was still up and running. We could just blast this place with that experimental cleanser. It worked. Kind of, although it did melt just about all organic life off the cliff face. Guess it's worthwhile we de decommissioned that line. I'll see about getting double radix rations for our next resupply airdrop. Golf sent out a scouting force down to Vegas again. Proved that we'd all been thinking, whereas little investigation is long gone. Maybe Lawson and I can get her to reverse the charges. She's got no more evidence after all uh, that's th three four message sent I should receive a response in the next few weeks once the resupply airdrop comes in surely she'll listen to reason she's got nothing and the research we completed the research we could still complete with those samples that takes priority ethics has no place in the laboratory okay ah oh, damn it all Bitch responded. All right. She's pressing forward, and it looks like she might have even found more evidence than we thought. It's time to take things into our own hands. I'll see if Lawson can get together a head squad of something. Elizabeth Ware must die. Ah. Started looking through the old journal entries here. Interesting stuff. Looks like there was some repairman held captive by the old super mutants. That we're inhabiting here. Good thing we came along, I guess, although a little too late, it would seem. It looks like the repairman set the password to 12345678. Okay. Hey, we got the password, which I think is for this. Yes. There we go. What do we have over here? Disengage lock. What lock? What, what lock? Was there something locked in here? What lock has been disengaged? All the other ones? The, no, they needed keys. Yeah, I'm not sure what lock that would be. I mean, I'm gonna have a look just in case. But 
but I'm pretty sure that, yeah, there's no remote connection or anything like that. Hmm. Nice. Ah. Yeah, lots of NCR outside. And, oh boy, you're having a time, aren't you? You sure are. I'm guessing the rest of the ghouls, um, did their thing. Took them down. Yeah, radiation really ain't that bad up here. Hey, buddy. How's it going? All right, let's use a little bit of this. Put it away. I guess we could walk down there. I'm kind of interested by the dishes, though, so we might have a bit of a walk around up there as well. It's the highest point. Yeah. Oh, litter. Okay. I forgot to read that. Oh, this is from Elizabeth Ware. Ah, I see. Address to Miss Lydia Bernard and Co. I couldn't care less about whatever miracle cures you and Royce cooked up in that hellhole. Tell your friends at Camp Golf and Hoover Dam to stop sending me letters. The trial will continue and Royce will be convicted. If you give me reason, I'll throw you behind bars too. What he did at the Lucky 38 was a crime against nature and is worthy of the harshest sentence of our law that our law can provide. Your letters will not sway me. I see. And great password, by the way. Wonderful. We can make it up here. No, we can't. <laughs> um, I think we can go out the back here. So we'll try that first. Get a little bit more sight of the area. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Time to climb on up. Oh, and uh, that's as far as we can make it because of invisible walls. Okay. I kind of wish that they'd just make the rock face a little bit harder to climb up so that it wouldn't be tempting to try and climb, you know? Well, such is life. What can you do? Well, we can head back out down this way. And I think that's probably the best method for us to get down from here is to wind our way around this way. I mean, hell, understones along the way. I'm thinking, oh, well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, real unfortunate. What the hell? We're gonna spare one person? Nah. They weren't exactly ethical in their practices, were they? Where'd, where'd you get to? It kinda is, I'll be honest. No, I'm not going to hunt someone down. If they're in a place that we're in, sure, but... Yeah, you get to live for now. I know, pretty arbitrary, but... Um, what can you do? On we go, Raph. On we go. Might have a chance to get some supplies. At Understone, or... Even find some more interesting things down here. It's gonna be pretty radioactive though, I think. Even so. Super mutants could left some things behind. Certainly left a lot of bodies. Let's head on the side. Let's see what we got. Whole heap of nothing so far. Just rads that we're taking at a pretty aggressive rate. Nothing that we can't undo, but still a lot. Okay, mutated torsos and organs. Lovely, that's exactly what we want to see. Oh, and it sounds like we've got some friends. We do. A friend. And that was it. Okay, let's check out here. Not much to it. Okay, that had me on edge. No explosions, please. And a average trunk. What do you got? A minigun, of all things. Well, hot damn. Good for you. Alright, radiation levels are increasing. To quite high amounts. Let's go take a red axe now. Maybe take some red away as well. Alright. Oh, yeah, it's a crater, of course. And, of course, there is a 
soldier at the bottom of it. We're, we're not going to go to the bottom of it, though, because I feel like that's just going to kill us. Red away is worn off. We actually did lose quite a bit of rads there, which I like. We'll see if we can get that to continue. We will just make our way. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Just want to make sure that there aren't any um, locations that we can go into here as well. So we're just going to have a bit of a scout around on our mini-map. Because, you know, they could be semi-covered up places. Uh, that does not seem to be the case, though. Alright, well. Let's move on, then. Yep. Yeah. Move on and down, and uh, we're pretty much going to head straight in the direction of uh, Understone. Which is over this way here. Really wasn't anticipating coming back to the town, but, uh, well, if we've got one more good journey left in us, we might as well restock, resupply, and be ready for what comes next. Ah, we've got a little bit of fighting out here as well. Uh, let's just check in on that world map. Okay, it's pretty much just directly down from us. A little bit further still. Not us fighting. Yeah, it must be this hill that's just over here. As many of you will know, the next destination for us is going to be in the far north. Uh, a location that we kind of missed last time we were up that way. So I'm hoping that we will be able to find the northern passage this time. So that we can make it to Zion. Oh, come on. Really? You're not going to let us walk up here? Well, I guess we're going around. No, I don't want to go around. No, nah, ain't gonna happen. Well, we're going this way for now then. And actually kind of reassessing this, I think Understone might be more up that way, on that hill. Yes, yes, because I recognize the campfire. There's a friendly survivor there, and then just around the other side. We're good. Oh! Well, I say friendly survivor. It's usually a friendly survivor, but that one is not friendly. Hey buddy, do you mind, uh, maybe not doing that? Thank you. Let's go ask him some questions. Well, that was dumb, wasn't it? Understone guard. Damn. You picked the wrong fight. Really. You especially shouldn't have been trying to attack us. Bit of a mistake there. Well, we're here to correct it, and it's been done. And, if I am correct, hey there, Understone, should be just down here, and sure enough, there it is. And we're very good. We are <laughs> sane and well, and with gunshots and laser fire. I think that's where we're going to wrap up today's episode. At the start of the next, we're going to head back in here, get resupplied. We're going to head on out into the unknown. Thank you all for joining me for another episode with Raphael. Our man is a monster. Unstoppable. Those centaurs would have tripped us up at one stage. But with that shish kebab now, we are an absolute menace. You know, that trip to Big Mountain was certainly worthwhile. And hey got a cool headpiece out of it as well. So, with miniature wars happening all across the place here, that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.